All right, in this problem, it looks a little weird since we have uh, a quantity on the bottom. Both these oils have this plus three on the left side. Um, so when we do a problem like this, when we have a variable on the bottom, we need to always remember that there are solutions that will not work. In order to figure those out, we need to set the bottom, since they're both the same, I'm just gonna take X minus two, we're gonna set that bottom equal to zero, okay? And so whenever this is equal to zero, that cannot be a value that works. So to figure out what X is, if I add two to both sides, then X equals two. And that makes sense. If I plug two back in here, two minus two gives me zero. We know we cannot divide by zero, so that's not gonna be a solution. So let's work this problem out. And as long as we get an answer that's not two, it should work. Okay. Um, to do this one, I am going to multiply both sides by the quantity x minus 2. Uh, in fact, I can multiply the whole thing like that if you want to think of it that way, times x minus 2. Now what that's going to do is it's going to cancel the x minus 2 on the top and bottom of this one and just leave me with x plus and then 3 times x minus 2 is going to be 3x, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Okay. On the other side, again, it's going to cancel the x minus 2 and the x minus 2 from the top and the bottom and just leave me with the top part, which is 2. So now it looks a lot easier to solve than it is. x plus 3x is going to be 4x minus 6 equals 2. Add 6 to both sides. And now 4x equals 8. And then when I divide by 4, I'm left with x equals 2. But... Like we said at the beginning, x cannot be 2, so that's actually not true, and the answer is this is no solution. So no solution to this problem.